kids If you really look at yourself You will be speechless What happened to being doctors and teachers What happened to being your brother's keeper Nowadays kids more worried about G'day everyone, thank you for watching again. Today we are checking out Euro's Truck Simulator 2. So this is a vehicle simulation PC game published by this company called SCS Software. So they've got a Microsoft Windows version and a Linux version. It is a sequel to the original Euro Truck Simulator game that came out a few years ago. Both games are based in Europe. Uh, what makes this game a little bit apart from the random simulator game is besides having single player and available on Linux, it supports making mods and custom paint jobs and various other modifications, along with the user-made multiplayer mod that's actually in alpha development. So at the moment they've got one server in Europe, which anyone from Australia will get about 350 to 400 ping and they've got a American server and that's anywhere from 255 to about 320 ping for us from Australia so the whole basis of Euro Truck Simulator 2 is you start out as a newbie guy you level up and you do various missions so these missions are picking up cargo from different towns and dropping them off so it seems pretty easy, but that's the uh, challenge of it, is to navigate through traffic, to uh, reverse, to not get hit. Um, you have things like you get tired, you have to fill up at the servos, you can buy more vehicles down the track, you can even buy garages at different towns. They have got a system where you can actually recruit AI, but it seems broken. Um, in multiplayer, they haven't actually got a system supported that you can recruit real-life people. And I think this should be added to the game. And if they do make a number three down the track, this should be uh, one of the focuses. It is multiplayer first, not single player. Okay, so the different scenarios they've got is like uh, Germany, Austria, Belgium, um, France... Hungary, Poland, Netherlands, Switzerland, and United Kingdom. So when you first start out, you do quick jobs. But um, what we've found in the game is you only have to do one or two quick jobs. You get a loan for a truck. And in most of the um, starter loans are about 100k. So you can only afford 100k-ish sh um, ship almost I was talking about Star Citizen there, um, a rig. So you buy a simple rig and then as you progress like up to level 10 or level 15, you can buy fancier rigs. Now there's been a few people want, want to buy Volvo ones and you, can, and you can, you don't have to wait till like level 10 or 15, you just have to discover the dealerships. So through the different towns and countries and regions, whatnot they have got multiple dealerships that you can buy different trucks so the two truck um well the different truck companies are uh, scanner scanner uh, i can't even say it. scan ia renault man volvo mercedes-benz iveco whatever that is um they're also bringing uh the daf x V X yeah X F soon. Um, they're continually patching it, which is good. It doesn't seem to be too buggy. The AI seems to be dumb when you're reversing; it just stays there. It supports the track IR. It supports the Oculus Rift. It supports uh, three screens. Only seems to be DirectX nine games, so the graphics. Uh, and anything to come home about but saying that they've done a really good job polishing this game to what the graphics ability can do um, there's no annoying yellow console colors um, it's easy to um, reference um, everywhere um, if you buy the game on disc because it is available on disc that serial is then redeemable on Steam, and you need the Steam one to play multiplayer. 
All right, so they've around January 2013 they released one DLC map pack which was called Going East. Now, if you check on Steam, they've got several versions. They've got the base game, the gold game. So the gold game is the base game and the Going East expansion pack. Then they've got uh, listed on Steam a third available option, which is the bundle. So the bundle is the base game, the Going East, all the paint job DLCs, and the number one game. Alrighty, so heaps and heaps of different mods are supported in the game. Some of the uh, more popular ones is TSM Pro Mods and of course the multiplayer mod. Uh, you can change the truck into some cars like the BMW X5, the LD S4, the Jeep, um, Jeep Cherokee um and yeah it's a shame they don't have ai traffic in multiplayer but i guess that's because of the desync issues and, and we have issue um we have experienced these issues we were found around 30 to 45 meters out when we're playing on the american server this game could do with a aussie or Asian based server possibly in Singapore Thailand or Japan so anyone on the lower part of the world actually has a lower ping I suppose similar games to this would be 18 wheels of steel uh, goat simulator uh, possibly even star citizen I could actually imagine if the star citizen mob made their engine available to these guys it would make this game freaking awesome it would just open up this game to a higher higher level of fidelity and um just functionality like compared to star citizen you can't hop in your rig and walk around and you can't like get out and and manually do things and that's where i think the direct x9 engine and considering it originally came out in 2012 is showing its age but saying that if you can pick this game up cheap it is a lot of fun and the multiplayer adds a lot of replay factor there are online communities now with guilds and clans that are doing convoy runs and you might see three people or up to a hundred people doing a massive convoys I have heard about the online communities doing 24 hour convoy runs right across Europe. That is crazy. There's one mod called the Oz Truck Simulator mod. So this is still under development and they're actually offering a free map of Australia with the different vehicles. That is a great idea. There's different mods out there to add tracks that are in the Going East DLC. So you don't have to buy that. Um, the different vehicles that aren't natively in the first game is uh, downloadable through free mods. So um, yeah, overall, I do recommend buying this game. Um, we can get the game from Australian Steam. You can get it from a retail shop. You can get it from G2 Play, G2A, uh, the King Store, CJS. So I'd say look around for the best price and trustworthy vendor that sells the game. And uh, yeah, definitely check it out. I have done several videos. Hey, man. hey, I found a way of um, getting a less of a fine a red light you go the wrong way <laughs> yeah it's supposed to do the other day half the time you don't get any no you mean just go on the wrong side of the road you mean eh? yeah yeah it's supposed to do the <laughs> if, you, if you can yeah you just switch over the wrong side of the road then back sometimes it still gives you a, a thing oh but half the time it doesn't even count because they don't the uh, red lights aim, is aimed at the uh, the red light camera is aimed at the <laughs> side of the the right side of the road.
Well, I noticed in the um, the version that I had versus this version, you got uh, wrong side violations a lot slower in mine. So, like, it took you like a minute of driving on the wrong side to get it. Whereas now it's like almost, it's like 10 seconds probably. I'm just about to go past Frankfurt. <laughs> Still says I was fart. <laughs> oh my god. What's up with that? I don't think we're even anywhere near I was fart. Wait, what the hell is a plane on the side of the fucking road here? What the fuck? Oh my god, I think I actually parked. Almost. <laughs> it was like a it was like a plane museum out where I am. Yeah, my truck's fourteen hundred liters. Like twenty seven hundred or more actually. About twenty nine hundred kilometers. Get out of the tank with a trailer on, it's insane. Notice if you have your lights off and you press J, it like flashes your high beam, or it just turns on temporarily. Interesting, it must be just for flashing. Like speed cameras. <laughs>